let's move from talking about the mathematical model to taking a look at the numerical solution strategy. This will be quick because the strategy is essentially the same that uh, was used in the laminar pipe flow case study. We divide the flow domain into control volumes or cells. An example of that division via a mesh is shown over here and we compute the uh, values at the centers of the cells. So for instance, uh, a cell center like that. And at each cell center, we need the velocities, the two components of velocity, the pressure, all Reynolds average, and then also K and epsilon. So we, the solver will determine five quantities, uh, five values at every cell center. It'll derive algebraic equations relating these entities at each cell center to the neighboring cell center values. Um, so it'll, you know, when you write the algebraic equations, the values here, the cell center values here will be related to the cell center values over here. For momentum, when it's calculating the forces at each phase of, uh, of the control volume, it needs to calculate not only the, so if I, if I have a phase like that, it needs to calculate not only the viscous forces on that, um, on that phase, it also needs to calculate the, um, the turbulence, you know, the forces due to the turbulence stresses, and for that it needs to know the eddy viscosity that comes from K and epsilon. And this process, uh, you know, in, in going to algebraic equations, so differential to integral form, uh, it has to derive the integral form to the algebraic equations, you introduce a discretization error. Linearize the algebraic equations about guess values, you introduce a linearization error. Solve iteratively to get the cell center values, and in that process you're reducing the linearization error. And once you have the cell center values, derive all of the quantities of interest, such as uh, lift from the cell center values through the process of post-processing.